What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing? Today, uh, it's me, as you can see, Mr. Warmack. Visit me on all the various social sites. And today, I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to talk about a topic that I talked about on my other channel, Low Rent Entertainment. This is the red herring, as you can tell. And uh, I want to talk about oh, the Russia or the new Russia as Putin see it. And I want you to listen to this video right here. The sun faded buildings of Havana may make a good tourist picture, but they are a part of a sad reality. Time seems to be standing still here. 50 years of sanctions against Cuba is having a huge toll on the country's economy. Cubans want to move forward, but in order to do that, they need a strong partner. And Moscow has made no secret it is willing to become one. That's why the first stop of Vladimir Putin's longest ever foreign trip to Latin American countries starts here. Putin and Raul Castro will rubber stamp an unprecedented agreement. Moscow is writing off 90% of Cuba's debt to the USSR. That's $32 billion, astronomical money for a poor country like Cuba. The remaining 10% will be reinvested into social infrastructure projects on Cuba. The intrigue is what Havana will offer in return. Speculation takes in everything from major oil deals. Cuba potentially has a lot of it but has no money to extract to rebuilding Soviet military bases on the island. And that's less than 100 miles from the coast of the United States. Now, after listening to that video, you may not have noticed anything. So I'm going to do is I'm play a shortened version. So listen to it. Putin and Raul Castro will rubber stamp an unprecedented agreement. Moscow is writing off 90% of Cuba's debt to the USSR. That's $32 billion, astronomical money for a poor country like Cuba. Now, first of all, I want to say is I'm using that. It's uh, That video is from RT. It's Russia Today. It's one of the official channels in Russia, and the Russian government sponsors it. Putin... It's behind the strings of a lot of stuff that they can and cannot report. If you ever look at Russia Today, I used to like Russia Today because before Russia Today was like CNN, like MSNBC, and like Fox, but it only gave the Russian side. But Russia Today was reporting also on Putin. The last couple months I've noticed they don't do any negative Putin stories. Like ever since like the Sochi Olympics, like a couple months before that, they didn't run any Putin stories. But the, I mean, negative Putin stories. But you really got to pay attention to what was said in the interview. I mean, in the article. I mean, and the. In the report, because it's, what it said is, they're willing. They're they're gonna the Cuba is uh, not gonna have to pay back ninety million. But that's not the starting point. The starting point is how they what they described it. He described it the USSR. Now I made videos about the USSR and how Putin wants to get it back. And Putin has even said that you the breakup of the USSR is a geopolitical disaster. That being said, if Russia Today is calling Russia, or because I, I, I made a video before about the, but the how the EEU, that's the Russian version, it's like a, the European, Eurasian economy, something like that. Go look at my video. But the EEU is the Russian version of the EU and of the, all the agreements, but it's the Russian based one. But what it is, is Russia's trying to get all their satellites. That's why they're really mad about what's happening in Ukraine. They want Ukraine to come back in the fold because I think what's going to happen is, this is me personally, I don't know, but if Russia today is stating that it's the USSR. That's coming from the top levels of governments calling it the USSR. So if you look at, I mean, if you look at it from the standpoint, I think Putin's doing it, he's being on the slick. I think this was a mistake because it's, it tipped their hand a little. Or unless, if they didn't tip their hand, they're calling it the USSR for a reason. Because they're going to go back to the USSR, back to the, all the old sat satellite countries. That's why a lot of these countries, like Poland, and I think they're, uh, I forget the other, a, lot, a lot of like um, the Baltic states, stuff like that. They want NATO bases there in their country. They're begging for NATO bases. You wonder why they're begging for NATO bases? Because they know if Putin gets on the, gets, goes on a hell-bent rage, he's going to, if, if they're thinking about invading Ukraine, the other countries are next to follow. And all we can do is deliver sanctions. Ooh, big deal. You can't, sanctions don't matter when they got business going on with China and like the other BRIC countries. So, this, let this be a warning. If RT is saying the United, the USSR is coming from top levels of government in Russia. This isn't coming from some, some Joe Schmo running the program in RT. This is coming from the top levels of government. And you people need to be aware and need to take notice of this. So I just want to make a short little video about the new economic power. With I mean, not the, yeah, the new economic power. And also I want to let you know that uh, they're calling themselves the USSR. 
So what's that tell you? And I'm also talking about this also. The Russians are, are, are forgiven a lot of debts in countries. You want to know why? They're going to start planning to build those countries up. And, and let's watch for the future. The United States are worried about some other stupid stuff. The United States should... I always said that I don't... I, you always should tr I, I don't trust as far as their political maneuvers. I mean, I'm cool with Russian people. I have no problem with Russian people. Like I said, they have no problem with American people. It's just the people in power who we don't trust. And that's in both countries. So... Just keep an eye on this. Like I said, if you listen to the, if you listen to both times, he said USSR. He didn't say Russia. He said the USSR. Yeah, I, I caught. Like I said, that caught me because, like I said, I would have never caught that. But I happened to do a video on how Putin wants to put together all these satellite countries back together, and he's forming an like an EEU union. So I just happened to, I just happened to get lucky. And like I said, if I did, if I wouldn't have done that video, I probably wouldn't have caught it. But it was slick because he said USSR. I'm like, hold up, man, this is Russia. But like I said, a lot of people should start asking a lot of questions about what Putin's ulterior motives are. Because like I said, uh, what was it, last month or the month before, within the last two months, Gazprom, the natural gas giant in Russia, which is government, was this majority government owned, struck a 20-year deal with China. And then like I said, uh, Russia delivers a lot of gas to Europe. And so they got a lot of, they got a lot of work to play with. A lot of our sanctions won't mean nothing if you're getting money, new money. You know what I mean? So... Stay aware and stay alert. You know, have a good one. Peace.